So I was a sergeant in the Army. I have been out of the military since 2001. Although I got out of the military in 01, did not start coming to the VA until 2016. A lot of female veterans don't realize they can come to the VA hospital for their care. I've been with the VA for 20 years. When we were taking care of women, we had them going one place to get their primary care. They might go to another place to have a mammogram. They would have to go to a different clinic to get their GYN care. So that's all changed. We've been able to bring this clinic together and have essentially one-stop shopping for their services. Women sometimes feel forgotten as veterans and we have to go above and beyond to help them not feel forgotten. So if they want to come here and not only see a designated women's health provider, but also see a designated women's health provider who's female, they have that option. You walk in and it feels womanly. It feels, you know, like it's for a lady. You have female providers that understand you. You can talk to, I can have all of my things done in this one spot. We're very aware of what may have taken place during their, their training. When we train our women's health providers, we make that a big important part of the training that they go through. This is the gear that they wear. This is why they come in here with all the musculoskeletal complaints that they have. It is extremely important how you're handled and how your provider communicates with you. I feel I'm heard. I feel I'm understood. Because of that, I make appointments, I go to the doctor, you know, I make sure that I'm getting the care that I need. It was important for us to provide this clinic for them where just women come so that they feel comfortable in this space. There are a lot of women who want to come to a designated space for women for various reasons. One reason might be military sexual trauma history. And we need to make sure that women feel like they can come to a place where they're not going to get harassed in the same way. It matters how we're greeted. It matters if there's eye contact. It matters that the person that is about to touch us or listen to our chest or, or touch our breast during an exam is handling us in a professional, delicate way. Most of them come away saying, you know, this is not the VA that I knew years ago. This has really changed and the care is really a lot better. As women age, it's very important that they get in for the preventative health care. And if they are wondering if they're eligible for those things or if it's time for them to get them, the best thing for them to do is talk to their primary care provider. The VA now is not what it used to be. There are providers that care about us and care about what women go through and, and what our needs are. What you want is a women's facility like this everywhere.